Live from Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News This Morning. Still ahead, football season is here. And that means tailgate time. We'll show you some delicious snacks that are healthy and easy to make. This is CBS 2 News Sunday Morning. Well, fall is back, even though it doesn't really feel like it today, but that also means football season is in full swing. Whether you're a college or NFL tailgate regular, cheer for your local high school, or love to host home gates for friends and family, Chef Julie Hardigan of Cooking with Julie has easy, delicious, and healthy snacks that are sure to make you a game day MVP. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. It's so nice of to course. see you. Of course. Yeah. So there's no reason why you can't enjoy all of these delicious happy hour game day treats in a lightened up way. That way you can have one of each. Each. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my mini Mexican seven layer dips. Okay. You know that classic seven layer dip that everyone loves? And yes. You yeah. put it on the coffee table. It looks great for about a minute and then it kind of turns into a mess. So these instead are individual portions so everyone can double dip as much as they want and they're perfect for tailgates because we're going to make them in these little individual cups that you can just throw away when you're done. Mm -hmm. It makes them a lot easier too. And by the way, all of these recipes are in a free recipe book on my website, cookingwjulie.com. So viewers can go online and grab that and make all of these recipes. But okay, awesome. dive right into these. Yes. We're going to start with some refried beans that you season with a little bit of taco seasoning or just spices that you have in your pantry like chili powder or cumin, things like that, just to give it a little bit more flavor. And you can use the vegetarian if you prefer. You could use... Um, you know, the different spicy ones. It's all up to you. Mm -hmm. These are very fun to play with. Then mm -hmm. the next trick, instead of using heavy sour cream, mm -hmm. I use Greek yogurt a lot really? in my cooking. So this is actually fat-free Greek yogurt. And when you're doing a dip like this, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. Right. It's like mixing in with all of the other flavors. You would never even know that was Greek yogurt. <laughs> no, exactly. It looks <laughs> like sour play. cream. Then we're going to do some guacamole. And I'm going to give everyone permission here to just buy it store-bought. I mean, if you feel like going for it and making it yourself, you can. But to keep things easy if you're making this for a crowd. Store-bought is totally fine. Mix it in, then a layer of salsa on top. You could use your favorite kind. Any brand will work here. Mm -hmm. It's almost like doing sand art for kids. Yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> One of those things you do at the carnival. Next, we're going to just top it with a little bit of light shredded cheese. I've got Mexican four cheese here. You could use cheddar whatever your favorite kind is. But the key thing to do, you can make it to this point the night before or morning of, and mm -hmm. these are perfect to pack to bring to a tailgate or a friend's mm -hmm. party, but I always top it with a fresh garnish. Mm. It just makes it look pretty and bright and colorful, adds a little crunch. I've got some cilantro, scallion, and red pepper here. And then you just serve these up with Obviously, chips are a classic, but <laughs> why to make not? it To make it healthy, you to were saying. To make it healthy, we can talk about doing some fun veggie dippers. Carrot sticks are obvious, oh, but sure. these are really fun. For people at home who haven't tried jicama, it goes so well with Mexican flavors, and it's crunchy and juicy. I'll give everyone a peek. It looks a little terrifying at the supermarket, <laughs> you guys, but I have to tell you, you cut these up into sticks. My daughters love them. They're juicy and bright and fresh, and they work really, really well with this dip. This is real. The carrots work well, too, in addition to the chips, in addition which to the we chip. know. And I love that it's portable. Like you said, you can just give it to your guests. They can wander around, yeah. and then you can just get rid of the cup. Exactly. They can double big... dip as much as they yeah. want. You don't have to worry about the toddler at the table. So we have know? so much more. What else is, yeah. what do you have here? So these are lightened up buffalo chicken skewers with mm. a sneaky light Greek yogurt-based blue cheese dip. So it's a way to make a, a really decadent blue cheese dip a lot lighter. Those are mini turkey pepperoni pizza Ooh. bites. They're about a fifth of the calories of everyone's favorite pizza bagel. I really? love those little mini pizza bagels. Yeah, using and those the, pre-made yeah. phyllo shells. So those are the shells you can just buy in the store. And what do you have? Like it, what did you put in there? You just chop up some turkey pepperoni mm -hmm. that is about 70% less fat than regular. It tastes exactly the same. It's so delicious right in the supermarket mm. with some pizza sauce and then some shredded light mozzarella on top and bake it off and you're done. It takes about five minutes and four ingredients. Oh, wow. Those are Italian sub skewers. I love Italian subs, but all that bread and the lettuce falls out. These are prettier and easier to mm -hmm. eat and perfect for your gluten-free friends, mm. too, who can't have the bread. So what do you, how do, what, what? It's what, little the, pinwheels of deli meat, basically, oh, right some light provolone, a little bit of ham and salami, and then you get to have fun with it. I did some uh, pepperoncini and grape tomatoes today and olive. You could totally put artichoke hearts or roasted peppers or mm -hmm. raw peppers to make it even lighter. And those guys at the end mm -hmm. are my 
Absolute <laughs> favorite. Yes. They are fat-free mini chocolate banana peanut butter cupcakes. I know, I love them so much. I had one before I came on, actually. Greek yogurt in the batter, mashed banana, and then I actually used a little bit of light Cool Whip and a little tiny bit of peanut butter to make the frosting. This is great. That's what helps yeah, it stand I'm giving to Vanessa. And, and, and as you said, the, and the theme is healthier than normal. Healthy game day snacks. And you know what? These are perfect for happy hour, too. I mean, I happen to run a fantasy football league and be really into football and yes. game day and Sunday fun day. <laughs> But for those of you at home that aren't, these are really, really fun, um, just happy hour snacks to put out for your friends, too. And I love these things because it looks like these decorations you can just get, like, at a dollar store or something. And, you know. best. I got those at a supermarket yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Everything else well I got on Amazon. Thank you very much, Julie. We really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and thank you for joining us this morning. CBS 2 News is back tonight at 11. You can check out all the headlines from home at CBSNewYork.com. Have a great weekend. Mm.